Do you guys know what a TV lamp is? Well, I didn't either. But in today's video, one of the viewers to my channel, who I've never met before, walks up to my shopping cart and shows me one. Then on top of it, she says it's not her style, so I could have it if I'd like to buy it. So I put it in my cart. Okay, well, come on inside the video, and I'll show you what other exciting stuff happened to me today. Plus, things were so exciting that it kind of turned my life upside down. At the first store today, up on this top row, I saw these two pumpkin guys riding a tricycle. They were asking $6.99 for it. It even came with the power supply. And online, these are going for $30 to $35. Well, just a few hours later into my thrifting journey, I saw these three sets of Corvo Gold Party Lights. Goodwill had them priced at $2.99 each. And at that price, I was going to take all three because when I looked them up on eBay, they were selling for $20 a set each. So yeah, I had to have all three of these. What a nice buy. Next up, I saw this really well-made ceramic cat bowl. It was really a nice looking cat bowl. I guess it's for the cat who has everything. It was made in Mexico. They were asking $5.99 for it. And online, they go for $30. This row had a bunch of artificial flowers on it and a bunch of flower pots that I wasn't interested in, so I quickly moved to the next aisle. I walked on over to their toy section where I saw this Bachman train set. Goodwill was asking $4.99 for it. Now, it was missing a few pieces, but I still think I should get some pretty good money for it. We'll see. That Bachman train set was missing the transformer, it was missing the train tracks, and it was missing a couple wheels off one of the cars, yet it still managed to sell for $21.95 plus $10.95 shipping. So, you know, it just goes to show you that you don't have to have an item that's 100% complete for it to be worth money. Well, the last thing I came across at this store was this Hexbug Remote Control Black Widow Spider. They had it priced at $5.99, and online, these go for around $30. Well, we got some pretty profitable items in our cart, so it wasn't a bad start to our thrifting adventure. Now let's go ahead to the next store and see what we find there. Are you ready? I am. At the second store today, I find this jewelry display stand. And you know what? I think I'm going to keep that for myself. But I also find this Callaway golf bag. And I get it for under $10. And I think it's going to go for over 50 So that's not bad. Okay, well, come on to the next store. And I'll show you what else I found. I was walking past their golf club section, but I wasn't interested in any golf clubs. What I liked was this Callaway golf bag. Now, Callaway's a really good name in golf, and this bag can go for over $200 new. Now, this one was used, but that's okay. They were only asking eight ninety nine dollars for it, and I'm going to ask 50 On this row, just a little bit up ahead of me, I saw this tea or spice cabinet. It definitely had a little age to it. They were asking $6.99 for it. Now, I've sold these before, and I can easily get $30 for these, sometimes more. And this one's in good shape. I usually have pretty good luck on the toy aisle at this store, but not today. I couldn't find anything. I even saw this Star Wars tent, but online it was only selling for $10, so I had to leave that too. As I was walking down this aisle, I noticed this jewelry display stand. 
Now, Goodwill had it priced at four ninety nine, which was a really good price for these. It was adjustable, and online they sell for about thirty dollars. I want this. Well, we're pretty much done with store number two, and I think we did okay here. So why don't we fly over to store number three and see what we can find there? Come on, let's get going. At the next store today, I run into one of the viewers to my channel, and guess what? She picks out an item for me to buy. Was that not sweet? Okay, well, follow me to the next store, and I'll show you what happened. I grabbed my cart, and I walked right over to this aisle where I saw this Pillsbury Doughboy Christmas <laughs> ornament. They were asking $3.99 for it, and on eBay, they're getting around $20 for them. As I was walking down this aisle, I noticed this Hunger Games popcorn bucket. It was from the movie The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. They were asking $6.99 for it, and they resell for $30. I didn't find anything on this aisle, but on the next aisle, I run into one of the viewers of my channel. Her name is Barbara, and she picked out an item just for me. Yeah, where do you see it? What's that you're holding? You find this that for me? This is the find of the day. This is from California Pottery, and it's a TV lamp. So this is very vintage. I bet this wow, is from the 40s or pretty. 50s. How much is it? It is $9.99. You better grab this. I am going to take it. All right. I'm going to put okay. it in your cart. Okay, put All it in right. the cart. Thanks for bringing it over you're to me. You're welcome. Have a great day. Yep. When I got to their lamp section, I spotted this crayon-shaped lamp for the kids' room. You plug it in, and it's color-changing. It has all the colors of the rainbow. They were asking $6.99 for it. It was made at Ikea. And online, these go for around $30. Well, I was just about getting ready to leave this store when I spotted these two Hallmark keepsake ornaments. They're sold as a set. The Santa Claus, and then you add on the reindeer. The reindeer come two in a pack. They're four ninety nine each, so I definitely wanted that. And the Santa is six ninety nine. Now the complete set of eight reindeer and Santa go for near a hundred dollars. Okay, guys. Well, that's about it. But I just want to thank Barbara for being such a good sport and letting me put her in my video. Okay. Well, until next week. Stay safe out there, guys. Stay safe.